My name is Ryan. I'm a software developer in the small city of Cardiff. I work fully remotely. I'm also a freelancer on the side. And as well as that, I'm now starting to make these YouTube videos. My goal with these videos is to kind of show what my life is like uh, working fully remotely and to also try and document some of the side projects that I'm working on. However, in today's video, I have a slightly different topic that I want to talk about. So what I actually want to talk about was my choice in MacBook. So this is my original old MacBook, which I bought back in 2017, 2018, I think. I'll put the specs on what it is, but it was a MacBook Pro 13 inch i5, I think, um, with like an old Alcantara skin on it. As you can see, at least a leather, a leather skin. It's a shame, I think, I'm not sure if they do them for the new ones, but I'll have to have a look. Anyway, this has been great for me over the years. It was my first Apple laptop. Apple product even, I think. Um, and yeah, compared to other laptops I've had, you know, it's lasted me a very long time. The only thing that's gone bad with it now is the battery life. So that is the main reason why I've decided to upgrade to the new MacBook Pro M4 Pro. This one is in silver and it's the 512 gigabyte version uh, with 24 gigabytes of RAM, I believe. And yeah, it's a pretty big investment. So in today's video, we're just going to talk about the reasons why I've decided to change from my old laptop to this new shiny laptop. Yeah, as I already mentioned, the battery life has really degraded over the last couple of years to the point where I can't use it for a very long time without being plugged in. So yeah, even when I look at the battery health, it says service recommended. I'm aware I could have looked after it a little bit better. I uh, would often leave the screen on and just close the laptop without shutting it down um, just so I could come back to it and easily open it whenever I need. Uh, most of the time I would have it connected to two screens on my desktop. And this was done through a Thunderbolt 3 dock. So it was charging the whole time, which I imagine was also not great for the battery. As I've now learned, it's not a good idea to overcharge batteries. So with the new laptop, I've actually installed an app called Al Dente, which will pause the charging when it gets to a certain point. I've just downloaded the free version and left it at the default limit of 80%. So basically when it's plugged in now, it'll get paused on 80%. It'll never charge above 80%, which will hopefully prolong the battery's health in the long run. So far, I've really noticed a difference in the battery life. I already feel a hundred times more productive with this laptop as I can move around without worrying the battery's gonna die within 20 minutes. And I've even been able to use it all day without even going below 20 or 30%. So yeah, the battery life has definitely been a huge upgrade. So the next reason I chose to upgrade was the way I've been recording videos for YouTube. Uh, I use OBS and the old laptop was really struggling. Uh, most of the time I noticed the video had some low frame rates. The fan would start blowing extremely loudly and there was a couple of occasions where OBS really like even crashed and one time on my laptop just black screened completely. I had to wait like an hour for it to cool down and start back up again. So. Yeah, as you can imagine, that was pretty frustrating when trying to start my YouTube journey. But yeah, so far with the new M4 Pro chip, it has not even broken a sweat. I think I'm even yet to hear a fan noise come from the laptop. Either that or the fans are extremely quiet. And yeah, segueing from video recording where you might be doing a lot of multitasking, I like to keep a lot of Chrome tabs open. Yes, I'm that person with hundreds of tabs open all the time. And with the old laptop having only eight gigs of RAM, it was definitely pushing the limits towards the end. I know that doesn't seem like the best reason to upgrade a laptop, and it's, it's just one of the many issues that I can think of off the top of my head, which I was starting to find with the old laptop. Another thing that was pushing the limits of the old technology of the laptop was video editing. Especially with YouTube, I realized I needed a much better machine for video editing. For now, I have been using CapCut previously. I don't remember having too much problems with it with the old laptop. However, since they have introduced the changes, I'm okay with buying a new laptop, but I'm too cheap to pay for CapCut. So I've made the switch to DaVinci Resolve and I found it almost impossible to use with the old i5 chip and only eight gigs of RAM. That was definitely a major, major reason as to why I made the choice of upgrading. For now, I'm still still very basic, still learning DaVinci. I definitely haven't used it to its fullest, fullest potential. However, the, um, the new M4 Pro chip handles it perfectly. 
One thing that's really nice to have with the new M4 chip is gaming. Obviously the old laptop did not have the power to play games. The only game I think I played on it was old school RuneScape. It even struggled with that at times. But with the newer M series chips there is a possibility to even play Windows games that weren't previously possible. I don't always have the time to play games, but it's really nice to have the option to. And it could come in really useful, especially when traveling or when my fiance is watching her Netflix shows on the big TV and I can't play on the Xbox. Being able to play games on the laptop is a great option to have. And last but not least, I am a developer after all. Uh, with all the things I'm trying to balance with working a full-time job, freelancing and now creating content for YouTube, it was extremely important that any spare time I have, I try to be as productive as possible. And in the end, the old technology in the 2017 MacBook Pro was no longer cutting it, so I decided to make a change and that is the real reason that I made this upgrade. In the end, I managed to get on Amazon for about £1,700. It still seems like a lot of money, but um, I see it as a long-term investment and some others might see that as not much money at all, but... Yeah, things are expensive these days. I'll leave the link to the MacBook in the description below along with everything else you can see here on my desk. Just a disclaimer, they are Amazon affiliate links, so I will get a small commission. It doesn't change the price that you pay, but it will really help me and the channel out. So thank you in advance to anyone that purchases anything through my links. And yeah, I hope to create maybe one video like this a week where I can check in, document a week in my life or a specific project or talk about a specific topic so if that sounds like something that interests you then please like the video and subscribe so that you don't miss a video in the future if you have made it this far please let me know if there's anything in particular that you would like to see from me drop your comments in the comment section below and yeah that'll bring us to the end of the video today i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you next time